It is Israel's missile defense system, a multi-billion dollar piece of technology that protects millions of Israelis, the Iron Dome. But how is the system able to stop Hamas rockets midair? Who's funding it? And how do residents feel about living under its protection? Our Brett Clement traveled to Israel's northern border to find out. Along Israel's northern border with Lebanon, there are intense exchanges of fire as tensions escalate with Hezbollah, an Iranian-backed militant group and ally of Hamas. We see new Israel Defense Force positions and tightened security. Israel is preparing for the opening of a new front. Oh, OK, you can hear that. That is that's outgoing fire from the Israeli side. A response to these attacks. This one was yesterday, an anti-tank missile attack. But just 15 minutes ago, there was one not far from where we are now. You can hear that was that was the impact. That was the sound of the impact on across the border on the Lebanon side. And they're firing again. Just yards away from that attack on the Israel Moshav of Stula, which killed a local farmer, we meet resident Ora Hatan. Aren't you afraid? No. All the village, all the citizen lives. Everyone's most, left. Of, most of them, yes. Most, most of, most most of, of them, yes. Left. And, uh, I'm not, I'm not afraid. Was that outgoing? Impact. That's impact. So that's impact from Israeli fire. It, so just behind that wall yes, is it's Lebanon. Yes. Yes, it's Lebanon. We know the villages. And you see the houses, the end of the eight, it's Hezbollah house. Aura unflinching. She's staying put with her 10-year-old son. I think that uh, once at all we have finished with Hezbollah. You have to finish because with because you know uh, now if uh, United States uh, don't want that uh, we are uh, fighting them, but we you know we delay the problem. Aura is one of the only residents left in this nearly abandoned community. The government telling thousands of people along the border to flee amid daily border strikes. You know there was an attack down the road and yet you're here. Yeah. You're not leaving. No, we're not leaving. But you can hear those, those bangs. The rockets seem close. I know. Israel saying it's ready for any escalation, adding logistical bases, equipping battalions with additional weapons, rallying 360,000 reservists. And Israel's protector, the Iron Dome, up against its biggest test yet. In his visit to the war zone, President Biden giving his full-fledged support for Israel, promising to ask for additional funding for the Iron Dome, including missile interceptors to replenish the air defense system. The United States has already provided at least $3 billion for the Iron Dome to date. We're going to keep Iron Dome fully supplied so it can continue standing sentinel over Israeli skies, saving Israeli lives. The Iron Dome is one of the most important tools that Israel has in its arsenal. And with Israel at war, never had to work harder. Could you explain uh, briefly how it works? Well, I can't elaborate into too much of the, of the technology behind it. But the idea, of course, is that the system is able to recognize and then intercept in real time rockets that are aimed towards the civilian populations within Israel. And it's uh, truly been a system that is a game changer. The Iron Dome, first operational in 2011, uses a sophisticated radar system to track those inbound missiles. Uh, Iron Dome, like any air and missile defense system, has a couple basic components. It's sitting and waiting for some threat to come into its field of view. When it does, it ascertains, hey, is this a threat? Is this a rocket? Or is this a Cessna? And is this coming to threaten the area that I'm assigned to protect? And if it does detect a threat, the system can bring down rockets fired from a range of 2 to 40 miles away with incredible accuracy. Uh, Iron Dome has shot down thousands of these things uh, over the years. But can it be overwhelmed? Anything can be overwhelmed. If you concentrate your forces on a particular area, they're trying to defend the whole country. They're trying to defend neighborhoods all over the country. And so by definition, uh, it's going to provide great defense, but it's, it's still limited. IDF spokesperson Major Libby Weiss tells me the Iron Dome is intercepting more rockets than ever before. 6,000 just within the first week of the conflict. You could see more, especially if you were Absolutely. seeing Hezbollah get involved. Is it up to the task? Absolutely. Uh, of course, we understand that the coming period of time and the coming days will be very, very challenging. But the Iron Dome system and our other active air defense systems 
were uh, designed exactly for, for this mission. Are you taking special preparations? Of course. Uh, the system is one that's very responsive and the, the soldiers here to the changing aspects of the operational reality on the ground. Back in Stuller on the northern border, the Iron Dome will be needed. Aren't you worried? Aren't you scared? Doesn't that sound a bit scared? No. Why? That's a lie. Because we are protecting him. Oh, because you're protecting him, of course. But I don't have gun, nothing. Only, you know, only good day what? Only love, yes. Love and warm, yes, yes. Our thanks to Brit for that. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.